One month has gone by since my video about how to raise chickens, the complete guide came out. And halfway through the video, I promised a video today on the selling stuff at your farm stand. So that's the video that you're going to get today. So here's a strawberry. And these are probably going to be a hit. Sorry, like there's so much wind right now. I have to yell at some points in this video, so sorry. But here's a strawberry. You can sell them for about a pound each for maybe like three or four dollars. You can also take a lot of inspiration from the stores, but sometimes since stores get way more popularity than your little farm stand at your house, chances are you probably might want to not really mimic the prices that you see at the store. You might want to mimic sort of like, I don't know, like other farm stands prices. So if you see someone selling them for like $5 a piece, you might as well sell them for $5 a piece. And just so you know, we're going to be going over plants and chicken eggs and also creating general stuff to make your farm stand visually attractive to other people. You see we put it for $3 in here. That's most prices. Not gonna be terribly hard to sell those at $3 since that's gonna be a big hit, I'm suggesting. Now let's continue talking a little bit more about prices. And you might also wanna check your growing season because for the first, like, I don't know, like, few months of your growing season, you set up your garden in my area, I planted around Memorial Day. Probably not gonna be able to get your first stuff out there and probably till like late July or early August. So last minute, like stocking up and stuff like that for the winter, as a time period, you really want to get hard with instantly. So just remember, planting a garden is really hard, but you always want to make sure that you're selling it at the right time too. And also for the right prices. So prices should vary on how much you have in your garden. And I forgot to mention this. So if you have broccoli plants, uh, I haven't had a much experience growing these. So if you have broccoli plants, then chances are, I don't know if they're gonna grow more than one on there, but if you only have a few of them, and you're gonna watch me, you're gonna witness me rip out this little, oh, it's not, I think that's zucchini, I'm not gonna rip that out, no. But if you wanna like, do this sort of stuff, like, seriously, if like there's gonna be like only a few of them, you might want to sell them for a little bit higher than they usually would. So if you sell them for like these sell for like six dollars at your store, you might want to sell them for six thirty at your farm stand. If you sell for ten dollars at the store, you might want to sell them for ten fifteen at your farm stand. So now that you got everything set up, now it's time to build your layout of where you're gonna to want to sell it at. Sorry, but you can't just sell something from a table from 1964. It does not work that way. You need to actually make something that people will enjoy staying under. So if it gets egregiously hot in the summer, like, you know, like, higher than 85 degrees is your average high. If you don't know what your average high is, you can check it out using some, like, things, like, even just Googling, what's my average high? Like, it knows that stuff. So, if you really want to be able to, like, make sure that people can stand your farm stand, so that way you're not selling, I don't know, like, things out in the bare sun in Furnace Creek, California, in like the bare month of July, then chances are you just wanna make sure that you're selling them in a shady area that will guarantee you that people enjoy staying there because it's shady. So that way they can just get out of the sun for once and not have to like go outside. Now it's time to set up like your little layout. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that there's prices set up there. And if you're gonna be selling anything like meat, anything like meat, you might as well just check out with like I think it's like, I don't know, like, I think you have to like sign an agreement with like, I can't remember what like the government administration you have to sign it with is, but I know you have to do it if you're going to sell something like, I don't know, like beef at your farm stand. I don't know if you need to sell, if you need to sell like chicken at your farm stand, but I know there's got to be at least one meat that you have to do like that. So always remember, you can sell your thing in like a greenhouse like this, but chances are you probably can't fit everything in there. So make sure you have a suitable layout that's perfect for the users and perfect for you. So that way you can sell stuff. Now, if you wanna really like up your security like a whole lot, then you might wanna put it up your driveway. Just remember to make sure that your driveway is welcoming and doesn't look like somebody's just gonna take half of your life savings. It's time to make a call to action for people to be able to come to your farm stand. Unfortunately, it isn't like 2011 anymore and you can't just put up signs if you live in like, I don't know, like big cities. I don't know if that's still the same 
and I don't really know this much about like cities and stuff like that because living out here for a while and I think it's legal in my area but I, yours could be much different so like you might need to get like a permit even just to hang up like lost dog signs remember that sort of stuff so I think like to do that like you can't set up like a lost dog sign but you can't set up like a call to action for people to be able to do that so you might want to set up your call to action right then and there so I do have a tutorial of how to buy a farmhouse and well you might want to buy one on like a street like mine so sort of like traffic -y, but sort of not so it's like you get like a car to pass every few minutes but it's not like there's a car that passes every few hours so it's not like a really slow area you might want to choose a road that's like a 25 30 mile per hour road and there you go you got your road you got your farmhouse and now it's time to make that call to action that people will think about in their heads use bright colors use other tactics to be able to draw their eyes and attention because for some reason I'm always attracted to light colors so like for some reason my eyes keep on driving right to those li light colored leaves up there so you might want to use, use like light colors and other colors that we are naturally attracted to such as red so yeah you might want to make sure that your farm logo has some of those colors in it I do have a video talking entirely about building your own logo it's linked in the description below I want to make sure that the person who bought your stuff will come back in the future so make sure that you test your own food before selling it because chances are like if you like like if you like get your own cucumber and it tastes like horse shit chances are nobody's gonna want to come back to your property just to get more because well if something tastes like then chances are nobody's gonna 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 want to come back to your property to buy more so you want to make sure that everything is grown properly and if something tastes off you might want to like check out what you're doing wrong and stuff that you're doing incorrectly correctly and correcting those mistakes for any future business so that way you can set up the most successful area for you to earn sort of like this is not like a full-time job you can work sort of just a back way to make money if like your job sort of doesn't meet your standards. So, not really like a recommendation unless you live on like this huge street and suddenly you have your own property. But chances are you're probably not gonna be able to afford a property like that. So that was it for this video. If you found this information helpful, be sure to like and subscribe so that way I can reach monetization on this channel and actually start to make money so I can actually make real videos, sort of. Because apparently these videos don't pull views I want to farm views on this channel. So see you next video and Falcon, get the fuck off my channel.